Hey everybody, this is Kendra Roman, your Region 4 Membership Engagement Chair. I'm coming to you from the Peninsula Civitan Club that's located in Newport News, Virginia. And I want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about something that we're trying to do, a new initiative that we're doing in our region. And it is called Civitan Day of Service. And you're probably saying, what is Civitan Day of Service? Well, it's going to be a day in which we're going to be focusing on the promotion of Civitan, the awareness of Civitan, and using social media to let people know what we're doing in our communities. So when is Civitan Day of Service? We have designated March 25th of 2023 to be the Civitan Day of Service. This is going to be the day that we want you and your club members to be on the community, to tell people and show people what we are doing and the impact that we have on our community. So within the Civitan Day of Service, we want to focus, well, you don't have to, but one way that you can do it is using the promotion of the Civitan impact areas. And these Civitan impact areas, there are four of them, and they are our subsets of the Civitan mission and statement for clubs and members to focus their efforts on improving the lives of individuals with intellectual and developmental disabilities, having advocating for change, and spreading the good work of Civitan throughout the world. So our four impact areas within Civitan are health and wellness, education and employment, accessibility and inclusive communities, family and community support. So I'm going to give you a little bit more information about each one of these impact areas. So when it comes to health and wellness, maybe that could be you connecting with a local adaptable sport team, like maybe Special Olympics, or doing a one-on-one -on -one with a fitness buddy, with someone in your community. Or maybe you can help in um, making some accessible gardens, or maybe plan or execute a nutritional cooking class. It can also include inclusive or adaptive outdoor recreational activities. This is all about health and wellness, but this is just a couple of ideas, not all of them, but you know, just a few examples. Next, we have education and employment. So we wanna advocate for people with IDD to reach their fullest potentials through classroom, job experience, and other continued learning. So this could be hosting a book club or a reading club with people with IDD, or maybe create a fund and volunteer for our adult literacy program. A lot of our students with IDD are wanting to go to college and maybe it could be putting together a scholarship for those who are wanting to continue their education. Maybe it could be us supporting our teachers in our special education classrooms and the programs that they have, doing a school supply drive or something that will help them as they're trying to get through this, this school year. Also, maybe a job readiness program, working with them and collecting supplies for organization or an agency. Then we have the accessibility and inclusive communities. This could be creating sensory friendly environments and public places or funding equipment of the creation of accessibility and adaptive playground and parks. Maybe it could be building a wheelchair ramps. That's what we as Civitans love to do. And maybe you could connect with a private home or maybe a public location to help them with their accessibility. And last, we have our family and community support. So this can be connecting with some of our organizations that are local to you. So maybe host a respite day or an event of family members who are caregivers of people with IDD, or maybe host a party or a dance or a special event for some people who live in a group home or who are part of a day support program. Maybe you can identify a community organization and ask them what their greatest need. Maybe they may need some help in their flower bed at a group home, or maybe Maybe some painting or sprucing up some items at the house. Maybe partnering with a mental health professional or start a host a support group for family members and caregivers for those with IDD. Or you can create a pair package and deliver it to a individual or family of someone with IDD. Maybe it could be adopting a group home or a resident in a group home or some items and things that they need. So what is going to be our next steps? So what we want you to do, we want you to plan, we want you to do, we want you to post. We want you now to take this time to plan out what you're going to do in your community for March 25th, that Civitan Day of Service. And then you're going to do, you're going to do that community service outreach on March 25th. And then as you're doing that service, you're going to take pictures, you're going to take videos, and then you are going to post about Civitan Day of Service. And when it comes to posting, 
we want you to utilize your Facebook and Instagram pages. Use the hashtag, hashtag 17, hashtag 17 day of service, hashtag 17 day of service of 2023. We want to trend. We want people to know what we're doing in our region. We want people to know what we're doing in Civitan and how we are trying to make a better world through Civitan and everything that we do. We're always reaching out to service to others. So if you need some more information or you want me to talk to your club or you want me to help spread the word and help you to learn how to spread the word, contact me, Kendra Wormley at klworm at yahoo.com. I am your membership engagement chair. I am here to help you as you are continuously to serve others in your community and as we continue in the service and fellowship of Civitan. Thanks, guys.